guys, it's Mr. Sontag here. And today, I'm going to be teaching you the different parts of a guitar and also how to tune your guitar so that you can make beautiful music with the guitar, okay? The guitar is one of my favorite instruments, and I've been playing guitar since I was about 13 years old. I've always loved the creative expression that it gave me um, to, to try new things, and to write music, and to learn how to play some of my favorite songs. The guitar is a great instrument to learn, but it can be a little bit challenging when you're first getting started. Um, so it's important that you have a guitar that's the right size for you, and a pretty decent quality guitar because uh, otherwise your fingers are going to have a hard time pressing down the frets. Okay, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Did you know that the guitar, the modern day guitar, originated in Spain? And the Spanish, they, they take credit for pioneering this style of guitar with a body, six strings, and a head. So the guitar has three parts. This big curvy part is the body. And most guitars are made out of wood. This guitar is made out of a nice mahogany wood. Uh, the second part of the guitar is the neck. And the neck is the smooth wood that connects the body to the head where you see all those tuners. And the neck has these metal, uh, metal bars called frets on them. And the frets help uh, distinguish different notes. So when you press your finger on a particular fret, for the further up you get on the neck, the higher the sound goes. So listen. Do you see how the, do you hear how the sound gets higher and higher as you move up the fretboard? This is the neck of the guitar and that has the fretboard on it and that's where you play with uh, usually if you're right-handed you play with your left hand if you're a left-handed player you play the opposite but I am right-handed so I play my guitar like that uh, and then up here is the head of the guitar and on the head you'll see these little pegs called tuner tuning pegs and those help you keep your guitar in proper tune and uh, tuned to the correct notes so it's very important that you're not just strumming a guitar that's out of tune because it will not sound good. So my guitar is in tune and it sounds very nice. The notes that I tune my guitar to are E, A, D, G, B, E. And that's also referred to as standard tuning. Standard tuning means that is uh, the standard that most musicians use. Now there are other kinds of experimental tunings um, but we're not going to talk about that in, that, in this video. Uh, this is just your beginner video introduction on the different parts of the guitar and how to play them. So I'm going to come up a little bit closer and show you guys how to tune your guitar using the tuning pegs. Now it's very important that you take it slow when turning these tuning pegs because if you start turning them really fast, uh, what can happen is the tension of, of the guitar can get so high that the string could break. And if a string breaks, it could hurt your hand. Uh, and then also you're gonna have to go out and buy new strings. It's just, it's not as much fun. Um, while I'm talking about it, you should be changing the strings of your guitar, depending on how much you play and what kind of playing you're doing, about once a month is, is a pretty good. And it depends on the strings that you get. It, there are so many different factors, but if you keep it to about once a month, then you shouldn't have too many issues. If you realize that your strings are getting rusty and feel, and scratching up your fingers a lot, then you can change your strings. It's not a hard and fast rule. You just, once a month is a good recommendation to change your strings. Now, if you're a professional musician, you play four nights a week, four hour shows, then you might wanna change your strings every week or every other week. It just depends on how frequently you're playing and how intensely you're playing. So I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna turn this tuner on and if you don't have a fancy uh, clip-on tuner like this, that's okay. But what the tuner does is it picks up the vibrations uh, of the guitar and it tells you what note it is. Now you want to try and get that tune, the note right in the middle of the tuner. So my, my sixth string, my top string is an E. The next one is A. The next one is D. And my guitar is pretty well tuned because I keep it tuned like this all the time. So you can see as I play each note, 
It's telling me the correct note. Now what happens if I'm here and it says D sharp? I need to tune it up to E. So just by turning these tuning pegs, notice how I just do it gently and get my note up to the correct note, okay? So that is a simple way to tune your guitar using what is called a, a tuner. This is a clip-on tuner that clips to the head of the guitar. Um, and you can get those pretty inexpensively, maybe around 10 to $20. I think this one was maybe 30 because it's a little bit of a better one. But uh, you shouldn't have to spend a fortune to get a tuner that will work and will help you tune your guitar. Tuning the guitar, very, very important step. So once your guitar is in tune, you can start playing. You can start playing your first songs. Remember, you want to strum right over this sound hole and I like to play with my fingers or my thumb. I like to brush the strings right there over the sound hole. Uh, but you can use a pick and I'll show you a guitar pick right here. A guitar pick just like that. And these again are very inexpensive. You can get about 10 of them for a couple dollars. Um, using the guitar pick, you wanna hold it between your pointer finger and your thumb like this. And you just want to gently brush or pluck. And you can go down, up, down, up, once you're really comfortable. You can, um, you can try different picking styles, like, uh, which is going up and down, kind of a fast tremolo picking. So uh, there's a lot for you to do. Just starting off as a beginner, you want to remember to take it slow because it's not going to be easy when you first start out. And uh, the best way to, to pick up any new instrument is to take it slow, step by step, um, and make sure you have the proper technique and finger technique. So for your left hand, you're going to make sure you press those frets down really hard because if you don't press it down hard enough, listen how it sounds. It doesn't sound good. So once you press down, you want to get a nice, uh, resonance of the note that rings out. Okay? In the next video, I'll be teaching you your first six notes, okay? I'll be teaching you six notes and how to play them on the first and second string. So stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great time playing your guitar today. Mr. Sontag, out.